Hi, this is Mamta, technical writer for GE Digital. I'm going to walk you through Simplicity 2022 server installation. There are a couple of changes in the installer screens for this release. Let's go through the prerequisites. Before you install Simplicity, back up simview.cfg file. If you configured any global specifications in the sim edit global configuration, uninstall the existing Simplicity version before you install the new version. Ensure that you meet all the system requirements. You can see the system requirements from online help on ge.com or readme file on the installer. Ensure that your system is updated with the latest Microsoft updates. Log on to your computer as an administrator. Confirm you aren't logged in via an RDP or terminal server session. Ensure there are no other GE products running. Click front end exe file. On the main install screen, click the install simplicity server link. Click next. Go to the terms of the license and accept to continue and click next. If you want to keep the default location of the simplicity server files, click next or click change to select a new destination and then click next. I will retain the default path. Enter the TCP ports for web TCP configuration and then click next. I will retain the defaults. Click yes to allow simplicity through the firewall. In the simplicity options screen, you can see there are three options. If you select online help, the product is integrated with the help that is available online on ge.com. That is, if you click F1 from Simplicity after installation, you will be redirected to online help. This option is recommended as it saves your time and disk space. You need to be connected to the internet to use this option. If you select online help and click next, the ready to install screen appears. You can click install here and the installation process will start. Let's go back and check the other two options. If you select local help, the help is installed on your machine and it is integrated with the product. That is, if you click F1 from Simplicity after installation, it will open the local help that will be installed on your machine. If you do not have internet, you must use this option, but this option increases the installation time. If you select local help and click next, you will get a prompt which says installing local help will take a few minutes longer. If you're fine with that, you can click yes and then the ready to install screen appears. Note that you cannot use this option on a viewer machine. You must use either online help or remote help option. If you select remote help, the product is integrated with the help that is available on other Simplicity server. You need intranet connectivity for this option. If you select remote help and click next, you need to enter the details of the server that already has help installed on it. If you have selected this option, when you click F1 from Simplicity, it will open the help that is installed on the server that you mentioned here. I will select the default option that is online help. And click next. Click install. Several screens will appear during the installation process and then the base Simplicity product will start to install. Near the end of the install, a few message boxes will appear. This one reminds you to install or upgrade your historian product later if you use it to store your historical data. Click OK. Another message appears reminding you that Simplicity only works in demo mode for two hours unless you enter your license info. Click OK. You need to restart your system to apply the changes. Once that is done, Simplicity server is ready to perform. And if you click F1, you can see it is redirected to online help because I selected that option during the installation. Note that if you want to change your help option after installation or if you want to change the remote server details, you can do that from Simplicity Options dialog. This concludes our install walkthrough. Thank you for watching.
For more information, you can visit our website ge.com slash digital.